All right, welcome back to my channel. You can call me Pat. Today's topic, I am subscribed to a YouTube channel called Teamcast IRL. The main commentator on that YouTube channel is Tim Pool. The reason I am subscribed to that YouTube channel is because I believe, in my humble opinion, that Tim Pool knows what he's talking about, right? I believe he does his research. Most of the time when he said some certain things that sounds crazy to me, I make sure to look into it. So that's what I did for this segment. In this segment, he's talking about Hunter Biden and uh, Joe Biden and the corruption with uh, the Biden family. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some receipt to exactly what he is saying. So let's go ahead and watch the video here. I also have a video of Joe Biden, a video of Hunter Biden, and um, I also have the New York Times article to show you that what this man is talking about is actually accurate. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Let's go. Theoretically, let's say that uh, Hunter Biden is getting money um, because he's, he can just soak the cash up and they're basically trying to bribe Biden by giving money to his son. Well, you could be an impeachable person and have somebody try to bribe you by giving money to your son. But if they're sharing bank accounts, that means that that firewall's gone. Joe Biden could become embroiled in the FBI's probe into Hunter's finances. Experts say emails reveal they shared bank accounts, paid each other's bills, and the president may have even funded his son's 2018 drug and prostitution binge. Now, if, if Hunter Biden is getting money working for an energy company in which he has no business, and he's sharing a bank account with his dad, and a prosecutor is investing in, investigating that company, and then his dad comes in and says, fire him, or I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to withhold U.S. allotted funding that is so beyond criminal and corrupt i am shocked that when donald trump catches this on accident and has no idea what it is and says what's going on here they impeached him for it these people are deeply deeply evil look at this i mean come on man when uh, to, to quote joe biden how about that come on man <laughs> come on man joe biden is in photos with hunter and uh, with hunter and and uh, uh, hunter's associates and he lied and said, I, I didn't talk to my son about this stuff. No, I'll tell you what it is. Politico reported this a while back. It's called Biden Inc. That the Biden family fortunes track alongside his political career. When Joe Biden was put in charge of Iraq under Obama, all of a sudden his brother's getting these lucrative contracts for construction in the country. Now you have Hunter Biden working at a company in which everyone knows he has no business working at, no expertise, doesn't speak the language, sharing bank accounts. Joe Biden comes in, gets the prosecutor who's investigating the founder, gets him fired, Threatening to, threatening to withhold funds from the U.S. government he has no right to do beyond abuse of power. And then what do they do? The media comes out and lies. They get Trump impeached for it. And now here we are with many people in this country still believing Trump was the one who was wrong for trying to get rid of that corruption. Now, truth be told, I don't think Trump is a great detective who was like, I must do what's right and save this country over this. No, I think Trump saw a meme video, a meme that went viral of Joe Biden saying, son of a bitch, guy got fired. And Trump's on the phone. He's like, what was that video about? If you, if you look at the transcript, it's very much Trump bumbling into something. You have to ask yourself, why are so many high-ranking Democrat family members involved in Ukraine and these energy companies? I think it's because the U.S. policy on Ukraine was that we were, it's not just Ukraine, it's Syria, it's the Middle East, it's the Qatar Turkey pipeline. All right, so um, I'll put the video link in the description. You can go and look into it. So what I'm about to do now is show you videos and receipt article proving that the, what this man is talking about is true, basically true. If you're listening to other YouTube channel like the Young Turk, MSNBC, their YouTube channel, CNN and whatever, they are still saying that this might be Russia propaganda or Russian disinformation, which is just mind blowing. This is crazy, bro. Like the facts are right there. And if you voted for Joe Biden and right now you don't want to admit that you made a mistake. Well, I don't know what to tell you, bro. So let's do this. So this is the first video of Joe Biden with the son of a bee. He got fired. That Tim Cass was talking about. Let's go ahead and watch this video first convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev, and, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion-dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to press conference, and I said, no, nah. I said, I'm not going to, we're not going to give you the billion dollars. 
They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time. Well, there's still, they, so they made some genuine, substantial changes institutionally and with people. All right, so if you don't see anything wrong with this video, I don't know what to tell you. Imagine 10, 20 years from now, China becoming the, you know, number one superpowers or whatever you want to call it in the world. And a Chinese official, not the president, some Chinese elected official saying, oh, yeah, in the United States, we went over there. There was a guy we didn't like, so we got him fired. You'll be like, what the heck? What's happening here? This is wrong. You cannot be the president of the United States or the vice president at the time of the United States. And let me tell you something. The two people he's talking about right there, per, uh, Perchenko, that was the president of Ukraine. So is the vice president telling the president of Ukraine what to do? That's wrong, bro. And the second person, uh, Yat Yatsen Yuk, was the prime minister. So you have the vice president of the United States telling the president of uh, Ukraine and the vice president what to do. I want that guy fired and uh, fired, and I want you to put somebody else in charge. That is wrong, bro. That is definitely a no-no. But anyway, if you believe there's nothing wrong with this, that is up to you. Make your own decision. Uh, your own conclusion is a free country, right? All right, so next, just like Tim Pool said, Donald Trump was impeached because of just asking. He just asked the president of Ukraine, like, what's going on? Why is Joe Biden on that video talking about he got a prosecutor fired? And uh, you remember the media, even Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, they all said, oh, my father and I, we never talked about my business. Nothing ever happened. Da, 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 da. Well, my guy. I have a report here from the New York Post saying that Joe and Hunter Biden were golfing with Ukraine gas executive in 2014, right? And here in the report, it says a photo has surfaced that shows former Vice President Joe Biden posing with his son Hunter and Devon Archer, who served with Hunter on the board of Ukraine, Ukrainian natural gas company Burisma Holding. You can go ahead and look into this um, article, but obviously that was a lie, right? That was just a lie. Just like it was a lie when they said there is no connection between Joe Biden and his son's dealing, right? Because just like the article that Tim Pool just showed, which is this one, where it says Joe Biden could become uh, embroiled in the FBI probe into Hunter Biden finance. Now that we know all the emails in the laptops are real, right? Just in case you're wondering, they're all real. Lord... There is one email here, for example, that says, your dad's Delaware tax refund check came today. I am depositing it in his account and writing a check in that amount back to you since he's, uh, he owes it to you. Don't think I need to run it by him, but if you want to go ahead, if not, I will deposit tomorrow, right? And um, those emails are real, right? Just so you know, they are real, okay? And of course, if you look into the, the laptop, there's a lot of crazy pictures in that laptop, bro. Like phone calls, uh, email involving him and his dad together, like they're getting money together and all that. You can go ahead and uh, I don't want to waste your time with this. You can go and look into this article from the Daily Mail. This article is actually from um, 2021, which is crazy because in 2021, a lot of people, you know, we're talking about, oh, yeah, it was misinformation. I also have a video for you of uh, media, right? The fake media saying it is uh, Russian disinformation. But let's keep moving here. So basically what Tim Pool is saying is um, Donald Trump was impeached. Even though the president of Ukraine said he didn't feel any push during the call with Donald Trump. Democrat impeached him anyway why because they had the majority so they did it anyway right in this article here from um, the new york post sorry about that in this article from the new york post it says here that the ukrainian president said wednesday he did not feel pressure 
during his phone call with President Trump because at the time they were saying Trump was trying to withhold money, which is exactly what Joe Biden just did, bro. Like I have a video, I just show you a video of him admitting to doing it, but you are looking into if Donald Trump actually did it, bro. Leftists, they are leftists are crazy, bro. Like they are so they are something else. Like Kevin Hart would say, you are something else. So anyway, now we know that Hunter Biden was corrupt. There was a lot of corruption involved. And this is the famous article from the New York Times that came out, I don't know, what, two weeks now? A week and something? I don't know. And it says here, Mr. Biden's extensive work with foreign businesses came under scrutiny from prosecutors looking into whether he should have registered with the Justice Department as a foreign agent. Investigators have examined Mr. Biden's relationship with interest in Kazakhstan, Chinese en energy uh, company, and Burisma. That's what Trump was asking about, bro. Anyway, so the Ukrainian energy company, which is Burisma, and that's according to people familiar with the investigation. Here it says, prosecutor also investigated payment and gift Mr. Biden or his associate has received from foreign interest. That's not okay including vehicle paid for using funds from a company associated with a Kazakhs oligarch, diamond from Chinese energy. Bro, why are you receiving diamond from Chinese energy? Who are you? Well, duh, your last name is Biden. That's what it was, right? And he also says here that prosecutor also saw document related to corporate entity through which Mr. Biden and his associate conducted business with interest around the world. Now, just in case you say, oh, okay, well, what is Hunter Biden has to say about all this? I have a video here for you of Hunter Biden admitting he had no business being there. He had no background in energy or anything uh, related to that. All right, let's go ahead and listen to this clip here. The world. You didn't have any extensive knowledge about natural gas or Ukraine itself, though. Uh, no, but I think that I had as much knowledge as anybody else who was on the board. What? I, if not more. In the list that you gave me of the reasons why you're on that board, you did not list the fact that you were the son of the vice president. Of course, president. yeah. No, I, what I, role do you think that played? I think that it is impossible for me to be on any of the boards that I just mentioned without saying that I'm the son of the vice president of the United States. You were paid $50,000 a month? For your position? Look, I'm a private citizen. One thing that I don't have to do is sit here and open my kimono as it relates to how much money I make or make or did or didn't. But it's all been sure. reported. If your last name wasn't Biden, do you think you would have been asked to be on the board of Burisma? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. I, I don't think that there's a lot of things that would have happened in my life that, uh, that if my last name wasn't Biden. Do you think that should be a rule across the board for any administration? No. Look, that's the rule that I'm going to adhere to. Do you regret being on the board to begin with? No, I don't regret being on the board. But what I regret is not taking into account that there would be a Rudy Giuliani um, and a um, and a president of the United States that would be listening to this this ridiculous conspiracy idea, which has again been completely debunked by everyone. So at the time, it was also lying, right? I'll put this video link in the description also if you want to go and uh, watch this interview. This is the same interview where he ends, he ends up saying he used to smoke uh, cheese, like Parmesan cheese. I was like, what? And then we have our beloved president, right, Joe Biden, saying this man right here, Hunter Biden, is the smartest guy <laughs> that he knows. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. This is the smartest guy you know. I don't want to see people you don't think are smart. This is crazy. But anyway, now this last clip here is why the media cannot be trusted, right? For the longest time, for the past two years or since uh, Donald Trump brought this um, investigation or brought this to our attention, the media kept lying, bro. Let's go ahead and watch this. Biden secret emails. A really fishy story. The Post claimed that the emails were found on a laptop computer that was brought to a repair shop in Delaware in the spring of 2019. The FBI is now investigating whether those alleged Hunter Biden emails are actually connected to a larger foreign intelligence operation. They may be related to a foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence. Foreign intelligence. Foreign intelligence operation. All we know 
These emails are made up. The information found on the laptop may be part of a Russian disinformation campaign. Part of a Russian uh, disinformation uh, effort. Described by many intelligence experts as having hallmarks. All the hallmar hallmarks, rather. All the hallmarks of a Russian. Or Russian. Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation. Disinformation campaign. This is a classic example of the right wing media machine. All right, here it is. The reason I'm posting this video be is because I was shocked. I looked at the comment section in that team pool or team cast RL uh, segment, and there was a lot of people actually saying, well, wasn't this already debunked? I'm not mad about those people. Some people literally wake up in the morning, go to work, right? Simply wake up in the morning, go to work, come back home, turn their TV on, or look online for whatever media source they trust, and you know just get the information from there they never actually look into crazy things or like if there is an allegation like this you have to look into it like is it true like for the past five years when they were talking about donald trump being a russian asset i believed it i truly did believe it at first i was like what maybe it is true right because everybody's talking about it and they say they have experts they say they have people who looked into it i was like man that must be true. And I waited and waited and waited for the proof. Adam shift. And there was no proof. Forever. There was no proof. And now we know, I'm not going to uh, waste your time here. Now we know that Hillary Clinton was involved into it. And that makes more sense, right? Hillary Clinton was involved into it. And there's a bunch of articles that you can look online explaining how certain lawyers and there was fake warrant and uh, some people are now indicted and the FBI is looking into it because it was all fake lies. This is crazy, bro. So shout out to Tim Pool for actually speaking the truth because he has a very big channel and a lot of people are listening to what he's saying. And in my humble opinion, there's a lot of accuracy in almost everything he is saying. So it's a trusted, you know, it's a channel that I trust. So let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and um, God bless you. See you on the next one.